Hello, uh, today I'm going to be talking about two stories. Um, number one, a tenant getting evicted because of their ADHD meds uh, and also a real estate agency facing criminal charges. I wish those two were related, um, but they are two separate stories. So four days ago, a tenant posted on the Melbourne subreddit saying that they were evicted because of their ADHD meds. And pretty much what happened was their landlord recently got a new real estate agent who raised the rent 50 bucks a week um, and didn't really have issues until they had this new real estate agency. The new real estate agent came over for an inspection and kind of snooped around as they all do all the time. And the real estate agent saw a fair bit of medication at a shelf uh, near the fridge and was a bit suspicious asking you know oh that's a lot of medication is everything okay the tenant was like everything sweet don't worry then she continued taking photos and everything she asked about one of the bottles on the shelf which was a dexamphetamine uh, bottle and the tenant was like yep I've got ADHD that's for ADHD after that the real estate agency was quiet for the rest of the inspection and kind of reacted a bit funny to that a short while later the tenant's partner got a call from the real estate agency and she said that she spoke to the landlord and the landlord was very unhappy to learn there is illicit drug use happening on the property and that he's looking into his options for eviction as keeping the illicit drugs in the house is a breach of the lease now I do want to preface this by saying real estate agents being dumb has never really surprised me um, but this one is particularly interesting. ADHD is a condition covered in the Disability Discrimination Act 1992 which is federal legislation so it's all over Australia. This legislation makes it illegal to discriminate against anyone with a disability. Um, it's in the name does what it says on the box. A disability is defined in section 4. The courts have found this to include meaning ADHD. Something else interesting about the Disability Discrimination Act is that in section 25 which covers accommodation uh, it says it's unlawful for a person whether as principal or agent to discriminate against another person on the grounds of the other person's disability by refusing the person's application for accommodation or blah 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 blah. blah. Anyways it's illegal to discriminate against someone because of a disability. ADHD is a disability. Interestingly, this section of the Act doesn't apply to uh, accommodation provided by registered charities or voluntary bodies that are not a charity. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know why they're excluded, but they are. Section 43 of the Act makes discriminating against someone with a disability uh, a, a crime punishable by six months imprisonment. If this person does get evicted, because of this um, that could be interesting for the landlord and or the real estate agent um, I would probably suggest that the real estate agent or the landlord doesn't evict this person unless they want to find out what jail's like anyways moving on to the next story we're going to talk about Barry Plant Consumer Affairs have investigated Barry Plant for underquoting um, and they have been charged with a criminal offence because underquoting is a criminal offence. Underquoting is pretty much where a real estate agency is selling a property and they're like, oh, look, we reckon it'll sell for this much money and that's way less than what it will actually sell for. And they do that to kind of get more interest in the property and further drive up the price of the property. Um, it's illegal, it's a criminal offence, you can't do that. Anyways, this place, that they investigated sold for 40 percent above the highest end of what they said it would sell for and there are a bunch of comparable properties that sold for the really high price or similar to um so consumer affairs were like hey um you can't do that you had the option to say what the actual price was and you didn't do that um that's illegal barry plant made this property sell for almost an extra half a million dollars um above the price that they quoted however the maximum fine for it is eleven thousand or thirty eight thousand dollars so yeah uh, that's disappointing uh, the age did a story about this um and they asked me for a quote and i said a couple things one of the questions that they asked was like oh do you reckon this is common and i said i reckon everyone who's ever been to an auction has seen under quoting occur they also asked me if i thought this was working 
um, like this underquoting crackdown. And I said, yeah, I reckon it's working really well. Um, they're doing really good stuff. Um, however, everyone knows that a crime that is punishable by a fine just means that that crime is legal for a price. What I mean by this is if there's ever a criminal offence that only has a fine associated to it, it just means it's legal for rich people. If there's no jail time, if there's no kind of actual penalty based on, you know, um, something t more tangible than money, it just means rich people can do it if they want and it's only poor people who can't do it. And I think crimes that are only punishable by fines are incorrect because it sends the message that rich people can get away with it and it's just the poor that we're targeting here. They also asked me, what I think of their effectiveness when it comes to renting stuff. And I said, uh, Consumer Affairs publishing their enforcement activities when it comes to underquoting tells renters that if you're an aspiring homeowner, we've got your back. But if you're a renter, we're not doing anything. Consumer Affairs Victoria doesn't really publish anything to do with rental compliance activities like this. There's also not really any criminal offences associated with renting stuff. It's only if you're selling a house, which I think is funny because that sends a message in, it, in and of itself. That just means like, hey, it's a crime if you do this to a rich person, but if you're doing it to someone who's renting, that's not a crime. I had a chat with Consumer Affairs about this recently um, and they listened and they were actually really lovely. Um, but yeah, they've been funded to do this kind of underquoting blitz by the Allen government, the Labor government, but they haven't been funded to do renting blitzes. And I think that that is the government sending us a message saying, hey, we only care about you if you want to buy a house. If you're renting, we don't give a shit. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to do uh, more stories like this fairly regularly. I'm going to post them on Patreon um, first so that everyone on Patreon um, can kind of see it before it goes live um, but I'm not going to do the regular shit rental stuff on Patreon because I don't want to kind of put that behind any kind of paywalls or anything um, but yeah if you want to support me feel free to grab some merch or join the Patreon don't do that if you don't want to um, because life sucks at the moment um, but yeah anyways you'll see it eventually anyway so um, yeah don't forget to join your union um, whichever your union is, I'm sure. Uh, if you need help figuring that out, happy to just send me a message. I'll look it up for you. But also, I want you to remember that the government could fix this immediately. They could fix homelessness. They could fix renting if they really wanted to. Um, but they don't. So they're not. And that's why we're in the position that we are.